And now, your NBC 26 Storm Shield forecast with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Temperatures, depending on where you live, it felt like summer farther inland, 70 degrees in Wapaka, but farther along the shoreline, we had eyes only in the mid and upper 50s thanks to that strong northeast wind flow. But overall, not terrible of a day. We did have uh, breezy conditions coming in, so it was cooler than yesterday. You probably felt it, especially if you spent some time out yesterday and today. 57 degrees in Green Bay. Winds coming in out of the northeast at 15 miles per hour. Our sunset tonight at 8. 15. Across the rest of our viewing area, we're still holding on into the 60s off towards the west in Wapaka and Watoma. We've got 40s and lower 50s along the shoreline. Now, tomorrow's high temperatures are going to be even cooler. Plus, we're going to see more clouds and a lot of rainfall heading in our way. We've got northeast winds about 5 to 15 miles per hour, and they will increase as we get into the day tomorrow as this low pressure gets closer towards our Badger State. By tomorrow morning, not terrible, but it's really late tomorrow afternoon and evening. We really start to notice these gusty winds uh, picking up upwards of 30 to 40 miles per hour, and this will continue overnight Sunday into Monday, and Monday will be a very breezy day as well. So as you're going to bed tomorrow night, you're probably going to be hearing that wind rattling outside your home and also carrying over into Monday while it's raining. So because of the strong winds and the high water levels, we've got that lakeshore flooded advisory from Mr. Boygan up towards Door County and Southern Marinette County, Southern Oconto and Brown County. We have a lakeshore flood warning. All that water funneling down the bay that is going to be causing issues once again. Here's the storm system right now off towards the west. Not that impressive. Sure, there's some rainfall, but what's happening here is we've got a secondary low pressure down to the south drawing in all this tropical moisture, and that's going to be tapping into that center of low pressure as it gets closer towards our area. So we start Start off as you get into Sunday morning. Could have a few stray showers, especially farther down to the south, but most of the rain should start to arrive here around or after daybreak, and it will come down steady and heavy at times, continuing all throughout the afternoon and evening on Sunday, overnight into Monday, even into Monday afternoon as well. So a very long, prolonged system that will be causing a lot of rainfall. We're talking inches of rainfall. The highest total is likely to be along and to the south south of uh, the Fox Valley, east and southeast of the Fox Valley, but still one to three, even maybe some locations upwards of five inches. That's something that we have to monitor for any river flooding or just flood warnings in general. Right now, nothing here, but you see on the other side of Lake Michigan and parts of Michigan, they have a flood watch. In effect, wouldn't be surprised if the National Weather Service issues that. So for tonight, we drop down to 48 degrees, northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tomorrow we'll climb up to a high of only 52. Our average high for this time of year is 67. So a uh, big cool down. Northeast winds 15 to 30, gusts upwards of 40 miles per hour. Still holding on into the lower 50s on Monday. We do see some improvement on Tuesday. Have a slight chance of a rain shower. And then we do start to dry out as we get towards Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And at least, Abby, you see we gradually warm up into those mid-70s. That is some good news to hear. All right, thank you.